I have once explained to you, why Japanese saws cut on the pull stroke rather than the push stroke. So to make good use of these saws, squatting or sitting position, is very important. Today I will somewhat help you, how to use them well. Saw, are broadly divided into crosscut saws, and rip saws, depending on blade shape. This is a type of crosscut saw, called anabikinoko, round nose roughing saw. A round nose roughing saw is used for roughing and has a rounded, nose-like tip. A crosscut saw is used to cut perpendicularly to the wood grain. A crosscut saw's blade is made up of tiny, knife-like teeth. The teeth are spread out a little alternating left and right, which is called a tooth set. A rip saw cuts parallel along the wood grain. A ripsaw's blade is made up of a row of chisel-like teeth. Some ripsaws have a diagonal handle. This is called giving it a mallet handle. Yes. This is Ruobanoko or double-edged saws, which has both a crosscut saw's teeth and a rip saw's teeth. Double-edged saws first made their appearance in the late 1800s. You can use it as either a crosscut saw or rip saw, making it the most widely used of all saws. The most important thing when using a saw is your posture. You should use a saw so that your face is along the center line and your nose and saw line form a straight line. Use the base of the saw when you first start sawing, followed by the entire saw.
There is an old saying that with saws, you can't cut with strength. You cut with the blade. What is most important is, that you regularly set your saw, so that it can cut well. <laughs> 